Okay, so in this uh, Newton's law review question, it's carrying on from the question tree. We're considering a sort of quantitative aspect to this free body diagram. That we're told that the car has a mass of 1.5 kgs and it's traveling to the right at 0.5 meters per second at t equals 0 seconds. And we're asked to find what is the displacement of the car between t equals 0 and t equals 3 seconds. So, um, yeah, so looking at this question, we can see that the net force in the cart is provided by the x component of the tension force, but we have to sort of figure out how big that is by looking at the size of the weight force. Um, so, if we so if we consider the weight force equals mg. The magnitude of the weight force is equal to mg. That's equal to 1.5 kgs times 9.8 meters per second squared. So this is with 14.7 newtons. So on our diagram, that is equivalent to six boxes um, of magnitude in terms of the what the free body diagram looks like. So this is equivalent to six boxes. And we can see that the tension force is the, the tension, the x component of the tension force is the net force. So F net equals Tx, which is equal to sort of three boxes. So if we want to figure this out in terms of Newtons, we would think that tension x is equal to 14.7 Newtons divided by six boxes. So we're boxes as in boxes on the diagram to figure out how big each individual these are like square boxes times our three boxes so it's exactly half of that so this is 7.35 newtons so now we can tell the acceleration of the box since we have the net force in the box and we have its mass so the acceleration of the cart be the net force on the cart divided by its mass which is uh, 4.9 meters per second squared and then to solve for its uh, delta x and we can have a constant acceleration kinematics so the delta x will be vi delta t plus one half a delta t squared Delta x, we're told that its initial uh, speed is to the right. So that's 0.5 meters per second. The time interval is 3 seconds. We've done the hard work to figure out the acceleration. And uh, again, our time squared. And this gives us an answer of 23.6 meters.